Hi everyone, welcome to Aginocraft. In this episode of Chasing the Lacing, we're gonna play with Titanium Dioxide. Why we are going to play with Titanium Dioxide? Because I figured out the way how to do the lacing methodically so that we pour the blue, pour the clear, then pour the white, wait for this to almost cure, then pour it, wait for this to almost cure, then pour it, then pour the white freshly over it and blow it over and you use high heat to get the salation going. So that's simple. Now my next problem is white pigments are extremely overpriced, extremely expensive and if you don't buy the expensive stuff it becomes milky and it's not gonna be white. And then enter titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide is used for uh, coloring things white. Um, it's a powder and I bought a hundred grams on Amazon for about 10 bucks or so. Now let me tell you that a bottle like this of pure pigments or, or pigment paste or whatever it's about 10 bucks and this is like 5 mil so I I just wanted to get something cheaper so this experiment is gonna be about V testing out titanium dioxide in our resin art. Is it actually a usable thing for pigmentation or coloration? Can we use this uh, instead of uh, buying the pigment paste or buying the expensive stuff what they try to force down on our throat on the big epoxy art YouTube channels where they say that you have to buy my pigmentation to get the perfect white for your lacing. Now we're gonna try to do it with household items. Okay, uh, titanium dioxide is not a household item, but you catch my drift, I think you understand what I mean. This is starting to warm up very nicely. I'm using drill casting resin, like before, and I wait for it to start to go off before I pour it. Now, I think it is high time. I'm wearing one glove and I'm not wearing another because I need to be able to use my nails and have tactile uh, feedback on the things I do. Um, I'm pointing the fan in that direction because titanium dioxide power, powder is not very nice if, you, if, if it gets in your gets in your lungs, so I just want to make sure that I don't inhale too much of the stuff. Okay, so I got like this much, can you see it? And I'm gonna just shove it in the resin and I start mixing it. Let's see what it does. Okay, it became milky and it has little bits in it. I think I want to put some more or do I want to mix it more? I should mix it more first. Yeah, I want to put some more in it. So we're going to use another spatula and see what it does. Another same amount. Add it to the pigment. Okay. Opa. Okay, it is white. Gosh darn it, it it's it's whitey white. You can see it dropped out here, you can't see it. Anyway, never mind then. Um I'm gonna turn the fan down now because it shakes the camera and makes a lot of noise. We're gonna do this like like the old times, you know. Okay, this is okay. This is thickening up very nicely. So I'm gonna pour the blue right now. I don't know if we're at level or not, but for now we're gonna leave it as it is. This I'm happy with. Alright, and I'm gonna pour the clear.
right next to it. And I'm gonna mix this a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna use the flame to get rid of the bubbles. We are using a long neck lighter because my expert shop assistant on the channel, the girls, told me to buy one. So I bought one. Instead of having my blowtorch fucking everything up, five minutes in, I can say the first of bomb. Okay, good. And now, I think it's time that I pour the white because it's getting very hot and I, I was supposed to do it later, but I use the same batch. What you're supposed to do is use a different batch for this. Do I have my, I need to get my heat done. Ready? I almost forgot. So I don't have my high power heat gun with me now because it's waiting at home for me to finish this experiment so that we can decide if we want to use it for the big ocean wave stuff. Okay. Everything is coming this way. I need to lift up this part of the this part of the experiment. So And now I'm gonna I'm gonna pour some white like so. I'm only using the heat gun to push it over. I'm sorry. Okay, and now I'm gonna use fire to actually get cells separated. Don't stay on an area too long. Move it around. Like so. All right. And now we wait. I want to push this a little bit more. Okay. Apply heat. We'll get cells, yes.
if you don't leave it there too long you're gonna get smaller cells if you leave it there longer you're gonna get bigger cells I need to turn the fan back on no I can't because I have this plugged in Okay, cells, then I don't leave it there too long, and cells when I leave it there longer. Pretty decent, but it's a little bit too much white now. So what I do is, first, everything coming this way, so I want to lift up this corner. I know I should get the level table and everything, guys. I know, I'm a bear wet. Once I get around it, I will buy one, I swear to God. For now, we do what we can. So I will use capillary reaction to push some of it around, like so. Okay, so my verdict is that it's extremely hot here now. <laughs> No, uh, but seriously, about the titanium dioxide, it's working. Titanium dioxide is a good colorant. Um, I would put titanium dioxide into some alcohol before I put it in epoxy. Just for the sole reason of... Let me zoom in on this for you. So that it doesn't have particles like this in it. Right? All in all... I think I have my new white color. I'm gonna use titanium dioxide from now on and I'm gonna use it on a big project as well to get some good stuff going. All right. Um, also, thanks everyone for supporting me on buymeacoffee.com and if you think I saved you some money, uh, consider supporting the channel for me to be able to do this full time um you find the links below thank you very much for watching i hope you got something out of this video i'll see you guys in the next one bye